Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this episode we are going to review that, no, I'm joking, uh, not this one, but that Ferrari. Way, look at that. It's a, a Brum Ferrari or whatever we pronounce it, Brum or Bram. Um, this is my only one from this brand but definitely not the last one because it has a pretty nice and slick finish as you see this is uh, from 1961 I think uh, I forgot to get the, the actual outer box 1961 it is I think and this is um, Wolfgang von Tripp's Ferrari and unfortunately he lost his life in uh, I think exactly in this model uh, he nearly became a world champion I mean he was pretty good and uh, this Ferrari is really good and look at the details I mean over there you can even see like the grills of the cooler and stuff like that I don't know is that even possible because I think the engine is in the back but something must have been there um, I'm going to take this off from the base and I think I will start to do it more often because uh, we can see a bit more of a, the details without the plate and with this brand as it looks like it is fairly simple so it comes off quite easily and this is die cast I mean wow I haven't taken it off before but this is unbelievable how heavy is this oh my god yeah that's uh I think it's it's easily my heaviest model <clears throat> that's that's insane I'm a bit surprised that the wheels are not moving around but not so much because if you look at the suspension that's that would be pretty much impossible uh, same on the front tires are not moving unless you break them uh, we see you don't want to but look at this shiny finish oh my goodness this is beautiful and it's got a perfect red ferrari color love it i love this brown model it's pretty nicely detailed on the inside as well i mean there's like obviously the gearbox was like just right down there pedals inside there can't see much of it but yeah it is there and even some of the some of the thingies um, whatever you call it speedometer and stuff like that and the steering wheel I think it's supposed to be like wooden it does look a little bit like it yeah so pretty nice Hey, where are the Venturi channels? Um, yeah, it's a bit bit old for that, but it's insane how how heavy is this model? I mean, if you look at it compared to my hand, it's so tiny, so so little, because the cars used to be a lot smaller. And just to show you something, so this model compared to a uh, two thousand and two Renault look at that I mean my goodness look at this Jesus how do people even fit in there and these cars are like fairly small these ones are fairly small compared to this beast I mean just look at it I try to line up the the rear tires sorry from the camera stand i can't see the back properly yeah here here it is that's just insane right so to put it even more aggressively let's put it on top of the red bull oh my goodness it does look like the driver figure of the the spark model the 2022 max verstappen models figure would not even <laughs> fit into this Obviously it would because the human body did not change as much over the years, but uh, oh my goodness, that's crazy. I mean, I expected some serious difference, but this is just absolutely insane. 
Wow. Yeah, so, um, what else to say about this little Ferrari fella? Um, I don't know, I should, uh, I should have looked a bit more into history, 1961. That was definitely a really aggressive looking Ferrari with that open nose and everything. Uh, good, awesome. Nice and shiny, Ferrari logos all over, obviously no, no decals and the uh, adverts at the time until Lotus have uh, started it with, with the gold leaf, I think. Yeah, nice. So, uh, there you go. That's pretty much the oldest piece of my collection, I think. Unless, let's have a look. I've got another one which I can compare with, but this is five years older. But you see, the size difference between these two is not a lot, really. I mean, I don't know, maybe the Ferrari is even longer, I don't know. But yeah, these two on the track, wow, that's all right, actually. Would make a nice uh, diorama or something. Um, yeah, so these these two are easily my oldest models by far. I don't know if I ever reviewed this one, but I will if I haven't. I'll, I'll have a look. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, the thing is, I think this little car alone is a lot heavier than than this with the with the stand. If <laughs> if you would ever realize, yeah, just just get a Brum model for yourself if you haven't got any. They, they really make nice, nice quality, and uh, they definitely don't mind to put uh, enough uh, material into the cars. It's way too heavy, my goodness. But it really feels like it's proper quality as you hold it, considering how cheap they are. I mean, these are probably the cheapest Ferraris compared to the quality you get. So I definitely recommend them. I will get some more over over the time and uh and I'll I'll show you those ones as well. Thanks for watching guys. Uh see you later.